Climate change is having a major impact on food security and concerned stakeholders are desperate to increase the world's vegetal cover as one way to slow down the effects. Such a vision will definitely require some innovation and technology comes to the rescue. The use of small unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly known as drones, are known to have a huge potential in the improvement of sustainable agriculture. And this Dubai-based technology company, Kafu, is surely taking advantage of its prospects. Its team of engineers and experts have built a drone capable of planting 10,000 seeds in 20 minutes. Their aim? to show that planting seeds by drone technology is a much more efficient method. Our main motive is to make life better um, for our customers and the residents here in the UAE by using innovation and technology. So the technology part is very important to provide you know, convenience in motion. And this sort of um, strategy was particularly valuable during the peak of the pandemic. So really how this is changing the world is through our use of technology. Everyone is becoming more tech savvy, you know, so are companies. And what we are trying to do here is play um, a bigger role in using technology for good in the agricultural industry. So just to give you a, a bit of context, using traditional planting method, it could take months to plant 4,000 trees. In a matter of minutes, our built-in, you know, in-house built uh, drone technology uh, could do just that. And it's not just about the actual planting. But for each seed ball we plant, we get the geographical location. So at a later date, we can assess the plant's health and the plant's count. And right now, all of this is done um, using a remote control, a computer, and a trigger to dispense. But soon, our plan is to really scale horizontally using swarm planting. So more drones, doing it faster, doing it quicker. This planting mechanism comprises two main parts, the drone, which is responsible for flight, and the payload, used to house seeds and also shoot them into the ground at a 10 meter height. The drone itself, uh, or the upper, the, the, the part that is responsible for flight, it's a general purpose drone that you can purchase. It's usually used for cinematography, surveying, but everything that you see underneath the drone, which we refer to as the payload, is manufactured and sourced here in the UAE. Uh, this is the system that is responsible for uh, dispatching the seed balls at, uh, at, the, at the, uh, with the force required. And all the electronics, software, and the hardware on the, 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 uh, the, uh, the manufacturing of that has been done in the UAE, uh, more specifically at CAF. It is able to carry 400 seeds per mission, which can last up to 30 minutes. Powered by batteries, the drone has an inbuilt camera which allows a human operator to control navigation. But this may change in time as the builders are looking to improve on the technology. We asked ourselves, as a tech company, how can we use technology for good? Really, how can we really make positive impact? What can we do for the environment, for the community? Um, and this is where the Kafu Raf planting project um, you know, was born. The model that we're building here is to plant in a desert environment and you know I tell you it, it was not easy. Uh, we ran through obstacles, we ran through hurdles, it was a journey um, from understanding the theory behind drone technology to understanding uh, the mathematical calculations, how much uh, force we need to penetrate the seed ball into the soil, to the biology of the Ghaf seeds. So just to give you an example, the Ghaf tree um, as well, it has different um, species uh, depending on where it's coming from. India and Pakistan is different from the half trees we have here. And then the 3D modeling, the design, manufacturing, the testing. So uh, a project like this could play a big role in other uh, countries, particularly if we're building a, a model that is able to plant and work here in a very harsh climate with very you know, minimal water. Imagine what it could do in other countries where there's an abundance of rainfall. For effective germination, the seeds, which are geotagged after planting for monitoring, have to be buried one centimeter deep under the soil.
The drone is able to do this at a speed of 95 meters per second. So the seed get dispatched from the drone at a speed around 95 meters per second and it hits the ground at around 80 meters per second. So we are accounting for the loss of, uh, uh, of uh, speed uh, while it travels from the, the, from the drone um, up until it hits the ground due to drag force, air resistance and so on. CAFU says it will continue to optimize its prototype and scale the project. Everyone is becoming more tech savvy, you know, so are companies. And what we're trying to do here is play um, a bigger role in using technology for good in the agricultural industry. So just to give you a, a bit of context, using traditional planting method, it could take months to plant 4,000 trees. In a matter of minutes, our built-in, you know, in-house built uh, drone technology uh, could do just that. And it's not just about the actual planting. But for each seed ball we plant, we get the geographical location. So at a later date, we can assess the plant's health and the plant's count. And right now, all of this is done um, using a remote control, a computer, and a trigger to dispense. But soon, our plan is to really scale horizontally using swarm planting. So more drones doing it faster, doing it quicker. If one drone can plant 10,000 seeds in 20 minutes, results from 10, 100 or 1,000 drones and the impact they could make on the environment is an imagination that could become a reality sooner than later.